You're watching Jazz Night in America. I'm Christian McBride. This week, we're going back to the beginning. Just across the lake from New Orleans sits the Dewdrop Social and Benevolent Hall, which dates back to the earliest days of jazz. Tonight, we're listening in on one of the great New Orleans trumpeters, Leroy Jones. During the early days of jazz, many of the musicians who performed in New Orleans would come over to the North Shore on the steamboats. The likes of Buddy Petit, the coronetist, George Lewis, Papa Celestine. It's even rumored that Louis Armstrong performed here once. The dewdrop hasn't always looked this good. Jinx Vadrine stepped in to preserve the place back in the 90s. We have people beg to play here. It's like they said that they can feel the ghost of the past. This town, they built it themselves and they put this cornerstone and here is your record right here. This hall was erected January 1st, 1895. Benevolent, this is the fundraiser. The music musicians always seem to take care of a community. But what is a benevolent hall? We asked Lynn Mitchell. After the Civil War, African Americans couldn't get insurance. They uh, had to band together and form what they call benevolent societies. They frequently would have these various dances and various other social functions, and any profits could go towards the benevolent society to look after the families if they lost a job, or in most cases, if somebody died, they could look after the family, see to a proper burial. The Benevolent Society is long gone, but the music's still there. And so is the soul food, cooked up by the church next door. What's on the menu, Sandra? Oh, fried fish and fried chicken. This one. That one's ready. Usually, on, on, on an average night, I say we fry between 50 and 60 pounds of fish. And it, and it ranges between three and, and four uh, pieces to a pound, so you figure, you know, it's pretty good. We be back here majority of the time, but we have the door open, uh, a window open, and we just can hear the music. And we be back here just hopping and fixing the food. <laughs> and tonight, Leroy is going to get everybody hopping. Whether you're Mad Men famous. I'm Brian Batt. I'm a native New Orleanian, and. Uh, or whether you're another trumpeter to come to pay respects. Yeah, Leroy and my dad, Walter Payton, uh, who was a great bassist and sousaphonist, uh, they played together a lot. In fact, that's how I met Leroy. He has such a strong foot in the foundation and the tradition, but has been one of the pioneers in breaking forward and bringing new elements from cats like Bird and Clifford Brown and such into a traditional format. All right, let's get to the music. I'll let Leroy kick it off from the stage. Good evening, thank you. We're gonna get right down to the business of music and uh, we would like to start this first set with uh, a song that I believe may have been performed here at the Dewdrop Social Hall way back when, in the early part of the 20th century. Uh, we will be doing some songs, a lot of songs that were probably performed there then. And we're hoping if you get cold, if you feel like warming yourselves up, there's a bit of dance floor there. Just don't knock anyone over, <laughs> okay? All right, you folks with two left feet, stay where you are, okay? <laughs> but we're gonna open with a, a song entitled, We Shall Walk, Not Run, Through the Streets of the City. <laughs> Thank you. Nice to get your applause in advance.
you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Now, y'all not just applauding like that because y'all know y'all being recorded, huh? <laughs> uh, uh, okay. And I hope you love this next song because it's a song that's actually uh, very suitable for tonight. And it is a blues. And it is entitled The Aftermath Blues. And you say, well, why do you call it The Aftermath Blues? Well, because it was written after Katrina. So it's the after, <laughs> it's the aftermath blues. When you lose everything, uh, you know, when you have three uh, feet to four feet of water that have been floating around in your house where you lived at in the Gentilly area in the seventh ward for, you know, Katrina left and then Rita came a week later, pushed the water right back in and you lose everything, you have the aftermath blues. You know what I'm saying? So I should have been living on the North Shore. Maybe, so. <laughs> anyway, that's all right. Glad to be back home. This is the Aftermath Blues, and we hope you enjoy.
the Aftermath Blues. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you so much. So we're going to roll right along without much jibber jabber and with a, another tune that was written by Clarence and Spencer Williams back in 1919, and I'm sure it was performed here at the Dewdrop Social Hall entitled The Royal Garden Blues. <laughs>
Garden Blues. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. The next song we'd like to play for you is an, another old tune. The tune is the St. James Infirmary Blues. <laughs> St. James Infirmary I saw my baby there Now she was stressed out On a long white table So cold, so pale, so bare Now let her go, let her go And may God bless her Wherever she may be, now she can search this whole wide world over, and she'll never find a sweet trumpet playing man like me. Now, when I die, when I die, I want to be buried, not cremated, in a box back coat. In a Stetson hat from Maya Hatter. Put a $20 gold piece on my watch chain so all the guys can know I died standing past. Thank you. 
St. James and Family Blues. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Uh, all right, this song, you, I'm sure you're familiar with it. And the tune was originally titled, Mama Don't Allow No Easy Riders. Whatever that means. <laughs> I've heard of Easy Riders. Did they have Harley Davidsons back then? Probably so. <laughs> and they probably didn't make as much noise as they do today. But uh, this is a song entitled, Mama Don't Allow No Music Played Round Here. OK. Saxophone playing around here. No, 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 say, Mama don't allow no saxophone playing around here. No, 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 no. Daniel don't care what Mama don't allow. He's gonna blow that saxophone anyhow. Mama don't allow no saxophone playing around here.
Jason don't care what mama don't allow. He's gonna pluck that bass anyhow. Mama don't allow no bass playing around here. Yeah. Stewart, Paul Longstreet, Daniel Farrell, Katia Teubler, yours truly, Leroy Jones. Thank you very much. Thank you all. God bless you all. And we're going to leave you all with when the saints go marching in. our show, you can hear more music from this concert on our radio program. Check your local listings or visit npr.org slash jazznight. I'm Christian McBride, and thanks for watching.